Are you fishing the best swim bait for your money? As you guys can see, I have a ton of swim baits laid out. And today, I'm gonna give you guys my top two, both a soft body swim bait and a hard body swim bait that is the best value for the money. Better yet, I'm gonna go one step further, and if you guys stick around to the end of the video, for all of you southeastern guys or all you Herring Lake guys, I'm gonna give you a bonus multi-jointed swim bait that's the best of value for the money. So if you guys stick around, I will give you guys a third option. There are two main things that I considered when compiling these top two swim baits against a soft body and a hard body. One is obviously price. This is a value video. What is the best possible swim bait for the money? No secrets there. And number two is availability. I wanted to make sure that the swim baits that I'm recommending to you guys are readily available. Anyone can go out and purchase them. Those were the two categories or points of emphasis that I did when creating these baits. As you guys can see, I have a ton of swim baits laid out on the deck. Yeah, it's a little bit of a flex, okay? It's a little bit. I've got a, quite a collection going here. I've been fishing swim baits for, golly, it's gotta be at least seven or eight years now, at least. But I want you guys to know that I have gone through the ringer. I've tried a bunch of different things. Golly, you can spend, you could go out and spend a year's salary on swim baits if you wanted to. You can waste a ton of money. And I say waste because some of them are a waste but you can spend a lot of time, money, and effort throwing things that don't work or just spending money that you unnecessarily don't have to. And that was one of the main reasons why I wanted to make this video. But real quickly, let me burn you guys through a few. So here's a swim bait box. I've got Sibyls. I've got local custom, you know, custom swim baits. We've got uh, Spro. We've got the River to Sea S waiver. One of these could be, you know, one of these could be definitely a value bait for sure. I've got local Texas companies, you know, custom hand poured swim baits. This one's 316. Uh, when I was out there, I've got mag drafts by Mega Bass. I've got Hinkle Shad, you know, thousand dollar swim baits, guys. You know, here's a Shad one right there. And then check this one out. This one's pretty cool. I just received this the other day. Look at that one. I won't give you too good a look at it because I've got more videos all on swim baits and unboxing and custom painting coming down the line. So if you guys are love, if you guys love swim baits, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss all of the swim bait content coming out very, very soon. Also, if you love swim baits, go ahead and like this video down below. I've got tater hogs back here. And again, I just share that with you guys to know that I have spent a lot of money a lot of effort and a lot of time figuring out what baits are best and which swim baits perform the best, again, comparing it to the best price. So that's what I wanna share with you guys. I've got the experience doing it and I'm gonna share my top two swim baits with you guys right now. So let's start off with the soft plastic swim bait. So the first one, hands down, number one bait for the price for a soft plastic swim bait is the mag draft, the six inch mag draft. Hands down, it is the best swim bait. It catches monster fish, it catches numbers of fish, and I believe these are right around, you know, with tax, maybe $20. There's plenty of soft baits out there. Again, I've tried a ton of them. I've tried hand poured. I've tried, you know, local companies. I've tried, golly, just about everything there is out there. However, this bait flat out works everywhere in the country, from Texas to up north in Michigan, to New York, to Florida, to Georgia, you name it. This bait flat out is a fish catcher, no questions asked. So that's my number one option for, for a soft swim bait. Again, $20, they don't last super long. They will actually tear up. So if you have like soft bait glue or like mend it, that's pretty helpful. And then another tip, I'll give you guys this, that I normally do with my mag drafts right out of the package is I go ahead and open up the belly where the magnet is. And I'll actually put super glue all the way around the magnet where it holds the loop. There'll be a loop where the magnet sits in and just put super glue all the way around it just to hold that magnet because that's one of the, the areas where the mag draft can fail for sure. 
But if you guys are new to the swim bait market and you're just looking to get into it, hands down, start off with a mag draft, a six inch mag draft, and that'll be a great place to start. It'll work all over the country and it's working right now in the springtime specifically and it catches numbers of fish and big fish. And again, anyone can get them. So hands down, that's my soft bait pick for best soft swim bait for the money. Now, the best hard swim bait for the money, that gets interesting because again, with glide baits, and I'll kind of lean towards the glide bait category on this one. Again, I told you I'd give you a multi-jointed bait at the end of the video, and I'll do an entirely separate video, you know, on herring specific swim baits. So this is going to be more towards the glide bait, more towards like a gizzard shad uh, for, you know, bigger, bigger fish, bigger bait kind of thing. And that's a tough one because as I mentioned, I've tried a, t a number of them. I've tried the S waiver, which is a tried and true staple. And spoiler, that's not going to be my pick. It flat out works. It's not an expensive bait. However, for me, the profile is a little different than what I'm looking for. For that, you know, that glide bait and triggering a giant, giant bass. Can you catch giant fish on them? Absolutely. But I tend to lean more towards a gizzard style shape and profile to target those trophy fish. I've tried, again, you guys saw I had Hinkle Shad, which are going on eBay right now. I think last, I looked last night and I think there's one up there right now for like $1,200. So I've, I've tried a bunch of different ones. I've tried Tater Hogs. They're fantastic. You know, they're like $300, but those are very, very expensive. And those are very, very difficult to get. So I say all that because I've been testing out a new bait, a new bait for me recently, and hands down for the money, big reveal, the Spro KGB Shad, hands down the best glide bait or big swim bait, however you want to classify it, for the money. No questions asked. It's a little expensive. Like I said, I, I believe it's around $55 to $65 wherever you get them and uh, with tax and everything included. But hands down, I know it's a little bit more expensive. It's like double or triple what the S waiver is. But for the money, wow, I was thoroughly impressed. This bait does everything that I wanted to. It has a gizzard shad profile. It comes with fantastic split rings. I think it's the Spro split rings and then Gamagatsu treble hooks. So right out of the package, this bait is just flat out ready to fish and ready to catch giant fish. So again, I mentioned it's around, you know, 55, $65. It's a perfect profile as you guys can see there. And you can glide it. I mean, this bait, if you reel it really slow, has a super wide glide. And then you can also, you know, get it to, uh, to dart or cut very hard, almost like a jerk bait, getting that reaction style with it uh, like chopping it and that bait will just walk almost back and forth in the water and not you know have super uh, super large glide and so this bait is super versatile throw it right now in the springtime and you will catch fish again across the country on this bait you will catch two pounders on this i promise you i've had one pounders try to eat this already but most importantly it's going to catch bigger class fish i believe this bait is around you know, six and a half, maybe six to seven inches would be my guess. I don't see it anywhere on here, the exact length, but this bait definitely outperforms everything else in its price category. And that is exactly, like I said, why you, ch why I chose it. Everyone can get this bait. It's only, I say only, I know it's still expensive. It's only that, you know, 55 to $65, but for the money compared to a bunch of other glide baits out there, it's one fifth to, you know, at least one tenth the price of a lot of specialty glides out there and hands down will perform and catch fish. It also, another thing to note with this bait, it comes with rotating hook hangers, which is another plus oversized eyes. Again, all the hardware, hardware is solid. I can't say enough good things about this bait. I've been thoroughly impressed. I wanted to test it out, you know, for a few months before I shared it with you guys. And I've been throwing it, you know, the last month and a half and it's been, it's been working. So I will say that again, if you're getting into swim baits, you want to get into the glide bait game. It can be intimidating. You can spend a bunch of money, time and effort. You don't have to because of this video. 
Again, soft bait, my favorite is the six inch mag draft for the money and hands down for the money, the Spro KGB Shad. So those are those two options there. At this point, before I share with you guys my best multi-jointed swim bait for Herring Lake fishermen, go ahead and post in the comments below if you guys have a differing opinion on both your best soft bait for soft swim bait for the value or best, you know, glide bait or large swim bait for the value. So post those down in the comments below if you guys have a differing pick or choice there. I'd be curious to know. Now, for all of the Herring Lake fishermen, and this hits close to home for me, obviously if you guys have been watching for a while, I'm on Lake Lanier. I fish a bunch of different lakes in the southeast primarily most of the time, and all, a lot of those lakes are Herring Lakes. And Herring Lakes are different, again, because a gizzard shad glide bait or swim bait has a very different profile than a Herring swimming in the water. It just does, hands down. So the best way to match that is a multi-jointed swim bait. So more than one joint is basically what that means. And so for me, again, going off of price and availability, I had a first choice, but I can't do it because of availability. And that is a the old Sabils. So you guys can see there, it's like the Acast Magic Swimmer, I think is what the original ones are called. This hands down best herring bait, in my opinion, for the money. Unfortunately, though, they've been discontinued and they're very, very difficult to get. It's tough to find them. So again, that's not my best value bait, but if you guys can get your hands on an actual Sabil, that's, that's one I would go with for sure. That's why I'm telling you guys this. If you guys want to go out and find one, go for it. But the best one today is going to maybe shock some people. And I've had some time on it last year and, and a little bit this year, not so much yet, but the Spro Sashimi Shad, Sashimi, I think it is. It's another Spro bait. And again, I'm not sponsored or anything like that. I'm not sponsored by Spro. This is just what I found, again, for the value. And I think Spro, especially the last year to two years, has really, really stepped up their game in the swim bait, the swim bait world. And I love it. So this is a multi-joint. Again, you guys can see here, there's three joints, four segments in the sashimi shad. And it is very, very similar in action, a little bit tighter action to the Sabil. But as you guys can see, I mean, very similar profiles. It's a perfect herring shape. And for the most part, sometimes they're out of stock of specific colors. But again, it's a readily available herring bait. And hands down for the money, in my opinion, I believe that it's just the best, again, for the money out there. Now, again, I've got a bunch of different custom swim baits that I think may be even better than that. But you're getting into, you know, upwards of, you know, $100, $200 per bait, which again is preposterous. However, they work really well. So again, up to you guys to, uh, to go ahead and make the decision on those custom baits. And don't worry guys, as I mentioned a little bit before, stay tuned for all the swim bait content coming down the line. I've got so much. I'm going to go through my boxes, best, you know, unboxing videos. I'm going to break down herring swim baits. I'm going to go through glide baits. I've got a ton of different videos already in the queue for you guys. So you want to stay tuned for that. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss those videos. With that said, again, some people are going to have different opinions. 100% want to hear them. Again, I'm not, I'm not closed-minded. I try not to be closed-minded. I always want to try to find the best, and in this case, the best for the money. So if you guys have a differing opinion, again, on any of these swim baits that I have chosen, go ahead and post them in the comments down below what you think your favorite swim bait in each of those categories are. Again, soft bait, big swim bait, glide bait, depends on how you, you classify it, and then jointed, multi-jointed herring style swim bait. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you did, go ahead, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will talk to y'all soon.